What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Kitchen HQ Indoor Grill and Griddle. Today I'm going to make you a steak with frozen chopped spinach and Sam's Club zucchini and yellow squash spirals from Frozen as well. So this will be interesting. I'm just cleaning out my freezer. We're going to have some fun. All right, guys, so steak's done. Take a look at that. It smells fantastic. I had that marinating for about two, three days, so it should be fantastic. All right, I got my griddle plate on. I'm preheating at 360. Well, that's cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it comes in these little, little bunches. Okay. I hit it with some avocado um, oil with my Evo oil sprayer. All right, get these things on there. Cool. Got my frozen chopped spinach too. Just gonna get rid of that. Set timer for four and a half minutes. Four minutes and thirty seconds. Starting now. About two minutes have went by. Let's see if I could break any of this up. a little bit more time but we're getting there all right guys four minutes have passed <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and season all of this right now I'll go for like another four minutes and then I'll start mixing it up all right guys we should be done and for a bonus I'm going to add some parmesan cheese to the top turned it off and I'll just let that rock for about another two minutes let that cheese melt Alright, this is what we're looking like. Let's plate it up and have a bite. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. There it is, guys. I'm ready to eat. And this was easy peasy from Frozen, but let's see how it tastes. I don't know how it's going to taste. Should be all right. We'll try it with, um, without the steak and with. Okay. You first. Got it. Legit. That tastes good. If you do this from fresh, it probably tastes even better. But like I said, you know, you know, you have stuff from frozen in your, in your freezer, you want to get rid of it, boom. Oh yeah, I want to see. Y'all take that. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Legit. Very legit. Some of y'all want a piece of steak by itself. This is, I guess, medium well. I'm more of a well done steak eater guy, so this is okay. I would have, if I was off camera, it would be even more well. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how I roll. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. One more bite with me. Mm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and have a sip of sangria with me. All right, well, I'm going to sit down and enjoy the rest of this, guys. I just want to say, you guys got to try this, fresh or frozen. It's easy. It's healthy. Try it. Hold on, I gotta take one more bite of my. Mm. Well, guys, if you have any type of indoor grill, whether it be a kitchen HQ, a smokeless um, grill, um, George Foreman, Ninja Foodie Grill, whatever you got, consider joining my Facebook group. Um, I'll put a link in the description. It's called Indoor Grilling. And we would love to see what you're making in your indoor grill and what kind of indoor grill you have. We'd love to see it. And if you need some inspiration, come on in, sign, um, you know, click to join and scroll down and get inspired. Also, guys, if any of you are on a low carb um, diet or low carb lifestyle is what I call it. Um, consider joining my lower carb nation, no keto group. Um, we're just low carb and we'd love to see what low carb meals you're making. And again, if you need inspiration on that, join the group and scroll down and get inspired. Guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up on an Instagram cooking with Doug. Other than that, it's awesome. Um, this was fun. I just made this off of stuff that was sitting in my freezer and I wanted to show you guys yet another low carb dinner that you can make. And by the way, those Sam's Club zoodles is on point. If you don't want to make them from scratch, that's a great alternative. Of course, fresh is, fre is better, but that's not bad as well. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. Same thing. Thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's cooking with Doug.